Merriam-Webster defines a family as a group of people who are related to each other or a group of related people including those who have lived in the past. But is this really the true definition of a family in its purest sense? Or is there something more to this concept than simple co-mingling of genes with a common thread? Buddha said that a family is a place where minds come in contact with one another, and Brad Henry, the former governor of Oklahoma, stated that families are the compass that guides us. They are the inspiration to great heights and our comfort when we occasionally falter. Which probably explains why author Jane Howard said, call it a clan, call it a network, call it a tribe, call it a family. Whatever you call it, whoever you are, you need one. So perhaps there's more to this idea of family and maybe sharing genes isn't even part of the equation. Maybe all it takes is a place where minds come in contact to guide, inspire, and comfort one another to satisfy one of the most basic human needs, a sense of belonging. Here is the person responsible for the tournament. Mary, oh, oh, hold on, I didn't realize I'd be on national television. This is, this is Mary Ann Manfreda. She is responsible for this tournament today. Mary Ann, how do you feel it's going? I think it's going very well. We have record crowds, as you can see. The weather is cooperating. Uh, we're going to 15 points because this is also a test of endurance. These are elite athletes we have here on the field. They're very temperamental, I can see. The athletes would like to be on camera before they, before they throw the next one. What, what, who are you rooting for? I'm rooting for Aunt Louise. Ah, so, so this is part of Aunt Louise's camp here, huh? Did she pay you in Cava Dills? Yes. Oh, okay. How are you enjoying the games? Like I said earlier, this is the only reason I came to America to see this sport. <laughs> it's one of the greatest things I've seen, and I'm sure I'll be taking her back to England. Again, it's just, I'm just so happy to be here to witness this. Well, we'll be sure to send the, clip, the clips to uh, the Queen, and, and uh, I'm sure she'll be, she'll be thrilled to see that. Hi, Mom. <laughs> and, and Aaron, what, what thoughts on the tournament? Um, I'm quite disappointed in our own performance. We were eliminated in the first round, but um, I'm very proud of those who have made it to the final. I agree. Uh, the agony, agony of defeat was pretty tough because I was defeated in the first round as well. So I, I understand your pain. This is, this is Cindy Towers reporting with the, fir the first interview of the winners. Bob, how do you feel? Very good. How many glasses of wine do you think it took to get you that good? I didn't have any wine today. I would have played better if I did though. <laughs> but now can I ask you? I mean, I, you know, I know the audience just needs to know. Yes, What's up with that belt? <laughs> There's nothing to it. Listen, I'll prove to it. I'll take it off. <laughs> can, I, can I put it on? And I'll shake it. <laughs> There's nothing there. They're making too much of this belt. Another turning point, a fork stuck in the road Time grabs you by the rest, directs you where to go So make the best of this test and don't ask why It's not a question but a lesson learned in time It's something unpredictable, but in the end is right I hope you had the time of your life So take the photographs and still frames in your mind Hanging on a shelf in good health and good time Tattoos of memories and dead skin on 
on trial For what it's worth, it was worth all the while It's something unpredictable, but in the end is right I hope you had the time of your life Something unpredictable, but in the end it's right I hope you had the time of your life It's something unpredictable, but in the end it's right I hope you had the time of your life